Many players consider Cyclops as one of the weakest junglers in the game, especially when you're in higher ranks. But I think if you have truly mastered certain heroes, you will still be able to do quite decently despite the disadvantages. And for me, Cyclops is one of those heroes. But not gonna lie, when I saw their draft, I was a bit worried because the moment I don't read the situation properly and my position is not optimal, Alas and Vel can hard punish me for that. At level 1, Cyclops will struggle to clear the jungle quickly, so always ask your teammates to help you out. But it seems like our mage is quite inexperienced and doesn't know that she's supposed to leave before killing this small creep. If you don't want to encounter this kind of inexperienced teammate, feel free to like and share the videos so they will learn about the basics of the game. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Winky face. They are having a party in the top lane, but as a jungler, your priority is to farm as quickly as possible and get that level 4 ASAP. You cannot afford to drastically change your rotation because if things don't go perfectly your way, you will become extremely hard to overcome such a bad start, especially with a jungler like Cyclops who relies on quick farming. I know that Cyclops is not the most intimidating looking hero, but when you underestimate his damage, you will end up receiving all those Cyclops balls in the face like this Freya. Don't auto aim guys, XT. I'm quite low, and if Freya clears the way fast and decides to help contest the turtle, it's gonna be quite problematic for us. So that's why I decided to remove her from the picture first before attempting to take the turtle. Now it should be a lot easier. It seemed like they were not going to contest this, so I wanted to save my retribution just in case we were gonna fight them. Well. Ah, uh, that's why he didn't contest it, because he went for my blue buff instead. Our Novaria was getting visibly more frustrated with this Aurora as the match went on. But you just gotta understand that some players are just not that experienced, and that's part of the game. A lot of players don't know about this, Cyclo is a lot more tanky than you might think. He got a couple buffs that increase overall HP. When going against Atlas, I need to be careful not to get too close because of his ult, but at the same time close enough that my balls are within reach. Look how I will keep moving back and forth when I see Alas around. I will try to keep masturbating him.
I like harassing the opponent's tank when he seems to be out of position because by the time he tries to initiate, he will be super low and won't have enough HP to do the full combo. The turret is available, but since we are so ahead, the 8 is better to wait till the 8 minute mark and take the lore instead. But remember, you only do this when your team is super ahead. If the game is kinda close, just take the turtle when you can. Whenever you go top, always be aware of the bush next to the red buff. That's one of the most common places to set an ambush. Whenever this aurora is next to me, I get really nervous and feel like my buffs are gonna get stolen. Instead of ulting Atlas, who already used all his skills and is no longer a threat, I will go for the damage dealers instead. Probably didn't have to end so soon, but with their draft, if we give them a chance to reach the very late game, they can certainly and easily make a comeback. One good setup from Atlas, and the tie will completely turn against us. Victory! Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. See ya.